What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to create an advanced file attributes changer in Visual Studio 2015. So what's new about this tutorial is that now you can set multiple attributes to a single file. So basically here we have three buttons, the browse button, save button, default button and we have a couple of um, check boxes, a group box, a text box and an open file dialog. So basically when you click on the browse button, the open file dialog is shown and then you choose the file, the path of the file will be loaded to this text box and the attributes of the file as well will be loaded in these check boxes. You can then customize the attributes and save them or load the default um, normal attributes to the selected file. So first of all, let us create our two main subroutines, which are gonna be the load attributes subroutine and the save attributes subroutine. So let's go to the code section and let's type private sub load attributes. And we need a try catch but we're gonna type dumb file app which stands for file attribute as IO the file attributes equals my the computer the file system the file info and between two brackets the path of the file which is gonna be in text box one text and this dot attribute now the attributes for the selected file are loaded in the variable file at so now what we're gonna want to do is clear all the check boxes as to load the uh, file attributes in them so we're gonna type read only check check false so read only check is the read only check box and similarly the other guys hidden check check sorry equals false so now we're gonna check um for different attributes if they exist in our variable file at so basically the the attributes uh, uh, if we have two attributes for example read only and hidden which are set for a specific file so the file at string value is gonna be read only or hidden so basically it puts or between different attributes so we're gonna check if we if that string of the file attribute contains read only or hidden or archive or the, the different attributes so let's start so we're gonna make an if condition if file at string contains and between two brackets I O the file attributes of read only dot to string so actually this is the string uh, value of the um, the read only attribute so if it happens that the file attribute contains the read only, so this means that we're gonna check the read only checkbox. So read only check the check equals true. And similarly, we're gonna do the same for the other guide. So I'm going to copy this. One, two, three, four.
All right. So now we're gonna catch any exception if it happened in this try catch block. So miss box ex dot message. And next, what we will do is create the subroutine for the attribute saving. So we're gonna type private sub save attributes and between try catch block we're gonna type them file at as U I O file attributes. Okay, and now we're gonna check the different um, tick boxes if they are checked. So first of all, if read only check check, then file at equals file at. Or IO the file attributes attributes dot read only. And similarly we're gonna do the other guys. This method was applicable for all other attributes except the encrypted so basically if the encrypted check box is checked then we have to type my computer file system get file info text box on text dot encrypt and if it's not checked we are gonna actually decrypt file so else we're gonna decrypt the file and after finishing this we want to load our customized file attribute the file that we are um, dealing with. So we're gonna type my computer dot file system dot get file info uh, text box on the text dot attributes equals file app that we have created and we're gonna catch any exception in the message box. The excellent message. Okay, so now we created the two main parts of our program. So now what we're gonna wanna do is double click on the browse button and type open file dialog on the show dialog. And double click on the open file dialog one and type text box one the text equals open file dialog one the file name and also we want to load the file app. so we're gonna call the load attribute function or subroutine that we've created and after this we're gonna double click on the uh, save button and type save attributes and then load attributes Ensure that the uh, attributes save and then we're gonna double click on the default button and type between try catch block my uh, computer uh, file system uh, file info and between two brackets text box command text uh, attributes equals I O the file attributes dot normal. Guess what? We're done. It's now the time to test the program. 
So let's start. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna browse for this document. So we notice here that the archive attribute is chip. So let's make it read only and save and check the properties of the file. It's read only and it's also archive. Let's try to make it encrypted and save. Uh huh. It's read only, so we cannot make it encrypted. So let's remove the read only and check the system and save. So it's now uh, cannot be hidden as its system and it's not read only. Let's try to make it encrypted. Save. Uh, denied. Okay. It's because it's system. So let's remove the system. Save. Make it encrypted. Okay. So it's now encrypted. So this was a tutorial on how to make your very own advanced file attributes changer. And um, stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot.